cool. Eyeglass shirt. And I think I've seen a, a, the opposite of this one. A white with black eyeglasses in the past. Welcome. I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, and welcome to another of Hawaiian Shirt Papa tours. This one is of Talies, which is on Upper James in Hamilton. This is actually the first time I've done a revisit, but the first one was like six months prior. We are looking at uh, Hawaiian shirts. This location had quite a few the last time I was here. Um, some interesting ones that are almost there. Maybe not the made in Hawaii that I'm hoping to find. But here we are going down the aisle. And yeah, there were some possible contenders. And we continue looking along. And there's the eyeglass shirt. I, I'm pretty sure that the one I saw previously at this location was the white with the dark eyeglasses on it. So it's the opposite. I kicked myself last time for not buying it. I still, I didn't buy this one either. Just so you know. It's not, not one of the larger sizes, not generously fitted. So I just, I'm not looking for anything that's tight or too small. And we're looking at the Hawaiian shirt fabric inspired shorts and swim trunks. I think I got a pair from here this time. Uh, I thought it would go with one of the shirts that I'd obtained uh, in another place that would be very similar to the one I got first for the swim trunks. Some interesting designs on them of those. As you can see, they're very, very loose. A couple of different ones of uh, possibly similar origin, just different colors. Got a good looking over on these this time. I've already given a tour of the other hard, hard good areas and such in the previous video, but this time we gave it a good hard look for related items in the Hawaiian shirt theme. Yeah, some cool stuff here. So here we have this Honey in Black uh, pair. Quite interesting. There's actually a very good selection of uh, Hawaiian styled swim trunks and shorts. So overall it was a pretty good day. I picked up, I think I just got the one pair of shorts for myself at this time. It might have been two. One for me, for sure, in any case. Um, so we were really going through these shorts quite intently on this visit. Fortun unfortunately, there weren't many in the way of white shirts on offer, so I uh, figured at least to get some color to look at. Uh, tie-dyed uh, look of rainbows. Now some of these are big box store brands, 
others are um, boutique type of, type of places. It all varies. Orange interior is kind of interesting. And we're just moving along. Ah, that's the pair. Actually quite comfortable. The usual um, interior for swim trucks. And we had a quick look at the uh, baseball caps there. And then we double checked on what they had for denim long pants. There's a selection, depends on size what you're looking for. Um, if you're willing to get someone to shorten the uh, jeans, you might have a better chance at it. Then the costume jewelry, which was also right near the front entrance. Some of it was on the uh, display there. There was another display over there. And just an overview of what was around. Then we come into the book area. There's some, there's always some deals on books, so you have to really be looking and searching for a particular one. And then there, we're into the hard goods, as I've shown in a previous video. The items on the shelves have changed. I must con be congratulatory to them. It's not the same items that I saw the previous visit. So there is some change of sight of, of uh, items on the shelves and on the racks, which is very pleasing to be able to say, hey, it's a whole new store. I know there are others who will visit on a far more frequent basis, looking for only very specific items. And that's, that's their purview to do. I'm the one who's actually trying to get to as many different thrift stores and antique shops as possible. Uh, no, it's not a brassiere. It's actually a purse. Could be used. Uh, it may have actually originally been some sort of Bluetooth sound system. A case for a Bluetooth sound system. And you could put it back into that kind of use. This is the glass case right at the uh, front service desk. Yeah, and there's quite a bit to see there. These are some of the items that they determined to be of somewhat higher value or they were too easily pocketed. And yes, they do have bags of costume, but they're not all the same price. Anyway, take care. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Give us a thumbs up, uh, a subscribe, and maybe even the bell. Thanks. Bye.